I'll just drop another one. Okay. So again, uh, uh, this is a perfect example. Yeah. Yeah. All of you have any questions? No, you can't tell your own okay, page of what the comic book's going to look like utilizing Lydia's character and Jacob's character. Okay, just playing around with it and stuff. You guys have seen this before, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this. For anybody who wasn't here, this is the final layout. Okay. Cool. Well, close to it, not exactly. And the reason why I need all that reference material because right here I drew her character. She was she was fine with the character except for one problem. He he rolls his sleeves up. Okay, that's how he wears his clothing. So without that specific type of information, I won't know. When I, when I sit down to draw your character, I want to be sure that I get it right every time because you see it's penciled, it's ink, it's almost finalized, and I want to keep going I back. just need the dialogue. Well, I need to shorten his sleeves first, right. which and I can do in dialogue. Photoshop, which is not a problem. Yep. And then you can do the dialogue on the, on the computer. Well, Lindsay's doing that. And today, what we're going to do is... Use all the computers. <laughs> going to be first. What we're going to do is we got to go back and take all the information in about everyone's character. Lindsay wants it in like type and everything. Uh, we can update that information because I'm more than quite sure why it's got something new or something they didn't add before. This guy here, he just told me just last week that his character has guns that can pop out of nowhere and I was like, really? Okay. So we're going to get all this updated information. Think about everything that you need yeah. for your character. The idea came to me in school. Okay, but well, that was new, Deals. and it was cool. I liked it, you know. Um, That's why I but she's ready to write this story. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's ready to dive right into it. And with your character, um, if there's anything that we need to know about him. Now, here, here are the bad guys. We are facing an alien invasion. Oh boy! Oh, okay, that's nice. awesome. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're still, ah. we're still, these are my characters, and this is how I'm going to introduce them. Me and uh, Lindsay were talking about that just the other day. We are facing an, in, an invasion, and this is serious. How exactly are we going to get everyone's character into the story? Like, what's the back of the story? Yeah, we need so a giant, we're, we're giant time rift portal. First of all, we need, what we need right now is character development. We need to understand everybody's character thoroughly. Now, Explain. I've been using your character and your character. I really love your character, man. He's going to be outrageous. He's a great, great character. He's going to add great a lot of relief really. to the comic book like you would not believe. It's going to be awesome. Comic relief. It's going to be awesome. No comic, no without it. Explain your character That's why real, we made quick. Cool. real quick. She's going to explain her character. Explain what your character is like. Um, well, he's not usually very serious. He's kind of joking around a lot. And he's sort of... Um, He's sort of like ignorant to a lot of the world. Okay. He doesn't know how to treat girls right. Okay. Um, and he's sort of spontaneous, and usually he gets into a lot of situations he probably shouldn't get into, okay. but he does anyway. Here's my question. How would he react if faced with something like this? He'd probably laugh. Right, these laugh. guys don't laugh. Dive straight in. Okay, these guys don't laugh, and they're very serious about taking over the world. I mean, these guys are just one mind, one single idea, and that's destruction of us and taking over. Okay? I mean, there's, oh, you, great, there's no loss of reason in our situation at all. Uh, but we can play around with that. No. But the thing is, is that everyone's got a character. So, everybody's got a background. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see that this character all of a sudden becomes some kind of superhero if he's always depressed, if he's always antisocial, and all. 
all these other kind of things. But he will be faced with this situation. Okay? Nonetheless, you know, there's nothing masculine about him. There's nothing superhero. He likes to just pretty much be by himself playing his violin according to what Lindsay's telling me. But he's going to be caught up in this situation. Okay, so we've got to figure out how he's going to react, I have an idea. how your character is going to react. We already know how your character is going to react. Yeah. Give me a second, give me a second. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some characters are battle ready, like his character. <coughs> like his character. These are warriors. We already know. They're they're waiting for a situation like this. Is, they're, they're like great. My God, was built but for not a situation everybody, like that. He's built for that. But We're not everybody like is. Yep. Not everyone is. And I don't want everyone to start creating their character to be super overall, you know. Because it'll make the story sort of one-sided. I want to approach it kind of uniquely. So I want your characters to stay who they are. Yeah. You know? But we'll just figure out how they would react in a situation like that. So make this thing a lot of fun. Oh, I found out my friend might be taking the summer class. Awesome. Good, they're summer classes. I was so yes. 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 They're summer classes? Yes. I'm just going to keep taking this and taking this and taking this until my teeth rot out. Now, whoever, whoever character is not ready, don't get worry it ready. about it. Well, get it ready, but don't worry about it because there's going to be plenty of room don't feel pressure. for me to introduce your character like you. You just started this semester. Like an I don't want you to rush to try to get into, into Like a survivor introduced middle in story. <gasps> Hold up for a second. You see what I'm saying? So, your character will be in here, and your character's gonna, you know, arrive at a certain time in the story, and it's gonna be good. Okay? But again, I want you to develop your character the way that you've always developed it, like not so much okay. designing them in preparation for these guys here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, what is your character like? Um, what's his name, and what's he like, or is she? Well, there's Aaron, and he's, he's kind of a sissy boy. A sissy boy. Oh. Okay. Every comic needs one of those. She's a really sissy. Okay. No. Um, yeah. and yeah. Often takes jokes the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> often takes jokes the wrong way. Um, then my guy will be constant. Then your guy will be probably constantly tormented by my guy. <laughs> my, my guy's oh. not that mean. So. What else? They're really, really shy and doesn't talk much. He's lived his life as a really rich boy. Oh, okay. Got money. And now he's faced with the threat of an alien invasion. Okay. Well, like he has money. He doesn't need to threat of an alien invasion. He yeah. doesn't fight at all. Spend it all on comic books. He's the really Here's my question. How, how would you think he would react? Sure. In a this must be the forces of Zenu. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. He'd probably freak out and go into hiding. <laughs>
hand down. I'm still holding on to this. What I decided, it's looking at this stuff, because it's so mm -hmm. radical and so loud and things like that, you know, when, when the aliens come to invade the planet, mm -hmm. they try to communicate with us. Okay. Uh -huh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use yeah. these illustrations just as they are. I'm going to scan this information in because we have a scene where we have one of the characters in a laboratory. And I don't, I'm not sure if this is how we're going to open it. I thought it was both Jacob and... Well, they're both in it. Yeah, they're both in it. But she can see that she's at the terminal, and they're talking about something, okay? And what they're going to do, they're going to get these strange readings from outer space, okay, of something trying to communicate in some way. And what I'm going to utilize is these characters here and the way that they're doing their thing. And he's, you see that he's got little information in there. Like, what were you thinking about when you were writing all this stuff in there? He wrote that? He, wrote, he drew and wrote this. Think, think like, look at this stuff. Think like a monkey. Everything he wrote and everything he's saying and, and all these expressions that he's illustrated is going to be in the comic book for a day, just like this here. So the aliens are trying to communicate, but they're using like some sort of child psychology. They're trying to understand. We don't quite understand exactly what these guys are coming from, what they're saying and such. And I'm going to play around with Lady on this and get her view on what she thinks about this view and try to apply it to her character in terms of how they're going to try to understand Sorry. So this is how they're communicating through images, through child psychology, through, through randomness, random information and such. And we have to decipher it and figure out what, what's going on. Okay. Figure out the clues before they blow up half the planet. <laughs> yeah! So oh know. my goodness, it's just like the it's just like the show touch. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this in color. If he decides is it just me or is this class and the comic action. taking inspiration yeah. from so many live action shows so and, an and animes? Yeah, probably. What is science done? Oh, Basically, my character's definition of what has science.